Today we're going to take a look at the eTrailer.com trailer coupler lock with the 3 and 3 8 inch span. Now this part will include the lock itself and the two keys. And this coupler lock is designed for the wide easy latch levers you'll see on some of the A-frame couplers and the wide latch lever on some of the hydraulic surge brake actuators. But it will still also work on some of the standard trigger style couplers that have the quarter inch diameter hole. I am going to show you a couple of the couplers. Here's one of the a-frame couplers I've talked about has the very wide easy latch lever right up here you can see. It's pretty wide here so you do need to span width that's pretty wide. And then also it'll work on your standard trigger latch coupler just like that. It's pretty thin here but it'll still go through there. It's a little wider than when you want it but if you still have it it'll work on either one of those. Now this does help prevent the coupler from releasing from the hitch ball while your trailer's in tow. It will also help prevent someone from attaching to an unattended trailer and towing it away. A few dimensions on this uh, lock. The pin diameter right here is a quarter of an inch. The inside span width is going to be right at 3 and 3 eighths inches. Overall length from one end to the other is right at 6 and 7 eighths inches. It is a flush locking design. It has a nice rubber cover here that will cover the lock cylinder to prevent any dirt or grime from getting in there. Helps prevent any corrosion. And what's nice is on the other end here, you can see it has a nice rubber grip to it to help when you're installing the lock. I'm going to show you how to do that here right now. So we're going to take the A-frame coupler with the wide easy latch on it. And you can see when you go to install this on your hitch ball, you'll lift the latch up, drop it onto your hitch ball, close the latch, and it's attached. And what this lock will do, let me go ahead and take the cylinder off and we'll show you. We'll go ahead and put the key in and you just... It's threaded onto the pin so you can turn the key or another easy way is just to spin the pin with the rubber handle and it'll spin right off just like that. And then what you'll do is there's a hole right here. So what happens with the latch closed if you stick this pin through there and then go ahead and put your lock on there. Go ahead and spin it until the tightens down all the way. Once it's tight, pull your key out, put your cover on. And you can see with that lock in there, it'll keep the latch from fully opening, which will keep it from detaching from your hitch ball. And again, also, if it's not connected to a hitch ball, if it's just an unattended trailer, it'll, you put the lock in there, it'll keep anybody from opening it and attaching it to their hitch ball and they're taking it away. And then to remove it again, all you have to do is pop open the rubber cover, put your key in there, just start unthreading it. And again, well, I'll take this side and just spin it it's a little bit faster. And just like that, it'll come apart, as simple as that. And then again, like I mentioned, it will work even on this narrower trigger latch. This one uses a trigger latch that you pull up on, release it, hook it to the ball, close it. And again, it has a hole right there. So again, you could put this through there, even though it's a little bit longer than you'd probably want, but still, it'll work. Put your lock on there. Go ahead and spin it till it tightens all the way down. Move the key. Put the cover on. And with it in there, you can see they can't open the latch, so you can't unattach it or attach it. Go ahead and take it off. <clears throat> now, you can also order multiple locks that are keyed alike. In other words, if you want a few of these, like four or five, let's say, and you wanted them all to have the same lock, so you just have one key, you don't have to carry around multiples of keys, it can be done. What you'll do is just simply select the keyed alike option from the drop-down menu that's on this product page, enter the number of locks you need into the quantity box, and then mark it key to like, and it'll get you that many. And this lock is made in the USA. And tighten it down, take the key out, put the cover on, you're all ready to go. But that should do it for the review on the eTrailer.com trailer coupler lock with the 3 and 3 8 inch span.